So we're doing a little bit of mountain recce today, and I'm now gonna make a fire in the snow because fire building in the winter time is a whole other beast than any other time of the year. So we've got some big branches here and I'm making some small kindling um, and I'll probably get my fire kit here in a sec. But before we kit it out for this little recce, I've got my rifle and helmet stashed there and my pack. Um, so yeah, I'll check back after I have all this broken down. So after we got a little kindling pile, I cleared out a little spot in the snow so that our fire is not going to be on top of the snow. But even if it was, you'd still be able to get away with it depending on how frozen the snow is. But now I've got these logs here and I'm just gonna kind of make a little layer of wood put on the bottom of the fire that we're gonna stack the fire on top of keep it off the snow, off the frozen ground, out of the moisture, and then as the fire gets hot, it will break through the kindling and stuff and go down to the bottom and get these pieces of wood on fire as well. Um, so we're breaking into the new Mystery Ranch bag that I got. It's a Beartooth 80. Pretty sweet bag so far. Um, I got my fire kit here. I have, this is one of the redundancies that I carry is fire. Um, I don't have my usual chest pouch that has all of my, well, it doesn't have all of my fire kit in it, but it has a fire kit that I usually use more than anything. But this one's pretty wicked. I've got um, some stormproof matches, um, two different lighters, one of them's a torch. I've got some cotton balls covered in petroleum jelly, um, a bunch of other stuff, but let's see if this thing even works in a high elevation. It does, you can't see it, but it's a pretty pink torch. Um, if I had a uh, flint and steel, which I usually have, but not in this kit, um, that's probably what I'd use, but just for the sake of being in a winter environment and having access to this stuff, we're probably just gonna use a match. All right, so we're gonna use petroleum jelly soaked uh, cotton balls. These are super cheap, super easy to make, and they're waterproof, and they last for freaking ever, and they burn for freaking ever. Um, and in a winter environment, they're fantastic. So, I'm just gonna break it apart like so. Just set it down on there. I'm not gonna wipe these on my pants. Don't need any of that yet. Use one of these matches. They're strike anywhere, but we'll just use this for right now. There we go. Okay, so that's going. Stacking a lot of kindling on top. 